So here we are at the beginning of our essential patches section of the tutorial. And we're going to start with synth bass. Now, programming synth bases is really, really important when it comes to synthesis in general, you know, from a musical point of view, um, because it really teaches you the basics of synthesis. And probably the beginners that hit synthesizers that have got um, manual controls on, the first thing they're going to really make is a, a, a killer synth bass sound, or at least they're going to try to make a killer synth bass sound. Um, but, you know, ultimately, um, a great synthesis or a good synthesis should be able to reach for a synth and program a simple analog style synth bass patch in only a few moves. Now, Massive is a pretty complicated beast and probably a little bit more complex than your average analog synth. So there's a few moves to make. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna check it out now and look at how we can, you know, make something pretty interesting. And the sound that we had going in our track that I played you um, in the last section, called "What Are Essential Patches," um, had this synth bass sound, and I'm playing it in isolation here, just the simple sequence. <laughs> Now you can hear it's pretty percussive, it's pretty resonant, it's quite raw, it's edgy, and uh, it's something that can be used in a load of different styles of uh, electronic music, and you could probably, you know, tweak it to use it in other, other genres as well. Um, but if you can learn how to make this, you can pretty much make any synth bass sound, you know, more elongated bass sounds with a better sustains and, you know, stuff that's less stabby maybe. Um, but really this is the basis, excuse the pun, for a solid bass sound. So I'm going to put this uh, to the side. Uh, I'm going to bring Logic up. And I've already made um, a new track with a, a fresh version, a uh, fresh copy of Massive in it uh, that's completely um, neutral and, and in initialized, if you like. Um, now, don't worry the fact that I'm using Logic. Don't worry about that because you can use any DAW for this. Um, Massive will load into a variety of DAWs um, that support audio units and VST. Um, so you can really use whatever you like at home. So don't worry if you see Logic throughout this tutorial. Um, it's not really a problem and shouldn't really make any difference to you. Um, I'll fold it away for now. And when we look at Massive and when we open a new patch, and you can do this just by going to New Sound here you'll get um, Untitled Sound come up. And it's a really good initialized patch to start with. We've got two oscillators activated, but only one is turned up here. You can see this is the amp control for the oscillator. And we looked at this way back um, at the beginning of the tutorial in the oscillator section. Um, but all the other oscillators are just switched on. Um, sorry, I said two, but there's three oscillators um, highlighted. Um, but they're just turned down. And all the modulation oscillators and noise are always switched on, but they're all also turned down. So you can only hear this square saw wave, a uh, square stroke saw wave in oscillator slot one. It's a really basic sound. Our filters may be turned on, but they are, um, they're not dialed into a, a, any specific mode. So we're not hearing any filtering. We're not hearing any effects. You can see effects non, effects non, insert non, insert non. So you're not hearing any processing. You're just hearing a very basic uh, saw wave. Now, I've got the um, other copy of Massive off to the side here, so I'm going to try and use it as a, a reference point. Um, but realistically, what I'm going to try and do is recreate that bass sound. Now, it's not going to end up exactly the same, but it should give you a good idea of how I went about building it and, uh, and show you it step by step. And we're going to start with the oscillators. Now, the oscillators are obviously the sound source of any patch, and uh, it's no different here. So... Realistically, we want to choose two oscillators, and I'm going to do that now. There's actually three oscillators, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, we're going to use two square saw waves, and uh, these are not actually the virtual analog, but they're the, the first basic wave in, in the list. Um, and we're going to leave the intensity up. We're going to have the, the wavetable position turned up for both of these, and the amp turned up for both of them as well. Now, the only thing I really did here was detune one of the oscillators by minus nine. So this should give us a natural chorus effect. Now if I turn this second oscillator off, you'll hear that. 
So that's your sort of very straight, non-detuned, non-doubled um, patch, but with the second oscillator, we start to get a thicker, fatter sound and a natural chorusing effect. Now, this is really great for patches like this. It makes them slightly wider and slightly fatter and a little bit more contemporary in nature. The older synths maybe not capable of this. Some of the later polyphonic ones were, but um, it's, a, it's a pretty cool sound. And then oscillator three, I've gone for something a little different. I've gone for a wavetable uh, hard sync sound called drive three. Now, and then I've upped it 24 notes. That sounds a bit strange, but it's adding extra high harmonics. And I've not mixed it all the way. Uh, I've put the wavetable position about halfway. And you can add, hear it really adds an extra edge. Um, I've also added some ring modulation uh, to oscillator three, to the, to the, um, to the wavetable oscillator and also some position modulation as well. And you can hear this even edgier. So that's our basic oscillator sound. Make sure it's not clipping on the master out. There we go. So we've got a nice output. We've got our three oscillators set up and that's really the basis of the sound. Nice and simple, but oscillator selection is very important. So think about what you're trying to create, think about how you're gonna manipulate it and what the basis of our sound needs to be. So this starts us off for creating the rest of the bass sound and next up, we're gonna look at creating a classic acid or resonant filter effect.